At bago po ako magtapos ng aking talumpati, pagdating po sa period of amendments, I will request na bawasan po ang budget ng DNR na meron po ang 12 billion pesos ang Office of the Secretary at 2 billion doon akin pong ilalakat at ilalaban na may transfer po sa Philippine National Children's Hospital na mas nangangailangan ng tulong sana po ang ating mga taga DOH ang ating mga taga DBM at maging ang ating mga otoridad my esteemed colleagues in Congress and Senate, I invite you to visit this hospital. Dahil, nung makausap ko po sila, wala raw pong nagbibisita sa kanila ng mga opisyal ng gobyerno. Marami na pong bumibisita sa Philippine Children Medical Center. Marami pong sumusuporta doon. As a matter of fact, I was told na recently they received 100 million pesos assistance fund from the government. Meron sila malasakit center. In fact, my brother, Secretary Erwin Tulfo, before he became secretary, nag-donate na 4 million pesos. Marami po mga donor ang PCMC, which I really appreciate. Pero, sa National Children's Hospital, wala. Ilang secretary na po ang nagpalit-palit sa ating gobyerno ni isang DOH secretary wala raw pong pumunta raw para bumisita. Para makita sana nila yung tunay na kalagayan ng mga pasyente doon. Wala raw pong bumibisita mga taga-gobyerno. Dahil ba ito isang maliit lamang ospital? Dahil ba ang pupunta rito mga anak ng mga pinakamahirap na tao sa Pilipinas? The poorest of the poor? I challenge the DOH, the DBM, and all my esteem colleagues Sana po, kung meron kayong panahon, bisitahin niyo po para makita niyo naman po kung gaano kalunos-lunos ang kalagayan ng mga pasyente doon. Like I already said sa speech ko kanina, hindi ko po kinaya halos mapayak po ako nung pumasok po ako sa isang ward and I saw this kid, six years old, dying, already sentenced to death, stage four cancer. Tawa-awa po at makikita ko po yung dingding nila, butas-butas. Tumutulo ang bintana. God. Pasag ang bintana at ang ipinagpalit sa halip na papalitan ng salamin. Plywood po ang ipinalit. At yung ibang bintana na talaga hindi naman remedyuhan, nilagyan po ng kurtina. Na kurtina pinaglipasan ng panahon na hindi pa napaglabahan. Ganun po, kawa-awa yung National Children's Hospital. That's why, inuulit ko po, ipaglalaban ko po na bawasan ang budget ng DNR na para sa akin maraming pagkukulang. 10 billion para sa Office of the Secretary and 2 billion support for the operation. Another 2 billion which is 12 billion. So 2 billion po ang dapat mabawas sa DNR at yan po ay may transfer sa National Children's Hospital na mas nangangailangan po ng tulong dahil dito po yung mga inosenteng anghel ang dapat natin matulungan sa perang yan. And I call upon my colleagues here in the Senate to please support me with this advocacy that I have now na para mabudgetan po itong National Children's Hospital. Thank you very much, Senator Tulfo. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. President, with the permission of the body, we take this privileged speech up and I ask that we recognize Mr. President, the distinguished gentleman from uh, Isabela and Davao in the Republic of the Philippines, Senator Rafi Tulfo, to deliver his privileged speech. I so move, Mr. President. Our distinguished colleague from the province of Isabela and Davao in the Republic of the Philippines, Senator Rafi Tulfo, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Today, as part of my advocacy for the youth, I visited the National Children's Hospital and the Philippine Children's Medical Center. November is National Children's Month, and yesterday, November 20, was National Children's Day. Actually, even before I became senator, I visit these hospitals because more than anyone, the children in these hospitals need all the help they can get. 
They are the most helpless sector in our society. And today, I clearly saw the sadness and sorrow in the faces of these innocent angels, reflecting the pain and suffering they are going through in the first few moments of their lives. Ang bigat po sa dibdig makita itong mga bata na may malulubang sakit, leukemia, stomach cancer, pancreatic cancer. Napalabas po ako ng kwarto dahil di ko na po matake ang kalagayan ng isang bata doon. He was a six-year-old boy suffering with stage four liver cancer. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was having a hard time breathing, even if he already had an oxygen tank assisting him. I was told that he is just waiting for his time to go, meaning he was already sentenced to death. And his parents were there to helplessly witness it all. As a father, I can just imagine what they were going through, knowing that their child already is considered as dead. Mr. President, the National Children's Hospital, a health facility for the poorest and weakest, is in dire need of our help. Kung paano naghihingalo ang mga pasyente doon, gayon din ang paghihingalo ng pasilidad at sitwasyon ng National Children's Hospital. Una, kulang na kulang po sila sa manpower. They could not handle the amount of patience that comes to them. In fact, listen to this. There is a three-year waiting time. Ulitin ko po. <coughs> Excuse me. Three-year waiting time for some of the therapies being offered to the patients. PT, OT, at speech therapy. Three years, tatlong taon. Isa pong buong cycle po yan ng kongreso. Tatlong taon maghihintay ang isang pasyente bago siya makatikim ng therapy. Dito po sa National Children's Hospital. Lubos po akong humahanga sa mga doktor ng National Children's Hospital, maging sa mga nurses doon, dahil sila po ay may tuturing na tunay ng mga bayani. They give more than what they are paid for, and their salaries are way below industry level. Ang dalawang buwan na sweldo ng mga PT at pampublikong hospital ay kinikita lamang po nila sa dalawang linggo sa private practice. Nobody wants to work in the National Children's Hospital because, of course, there are better opportunities out there. Pero dahil sa pagmamahal at malasakit sa mga bata at pamilya doon, ang mga frontliners ng NCH ay natitiis. It is true, patriotism at work. Second, the facilities are also below standard. The building is dilapidated. Ang mga pagtakip nila sa bintana ay plywood. Basag-basag po yung mga bintana at plywood po ang pantakip. Pwedeng pasukin ng alikabok, usok at lamok. Ang nap at napakainit po ng mga kwarto. Walang tamang ventilation. <coughs> Imbis na gumaling ang mga bata, mas lalo pa silang magkakasakit. Excuse me po. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. President. The equipment that they have are outdated and lacking. What kind of parents are we to these children? Their therapy rooms are very small. Just imagine po, kung nakikita nyo po, yan. Halos kalahati lang po yan ng public CR po natin dito sa Senado. How can several children have adequate therapy if they are cramped? According to the doctors there, ideally, the entire floor should be for therapy. But they're reduced to that one room for all patients. So instead of getting therapy two to three times a week at the hospital, the parents are just instructed to continue the therapy at home. Ang nangyari, do it yourself. Ang medical attention na nabibigay sa mga bata. Mr. President, the situation of the National Children's Hospital when I visited them before I became a senator, has not improved. Lalong lumalapa po. I'm wondering what has happened to their budget. Their budget has increased, but is it being spent well? Will it be spent well? I want to know that we are watching what they will do with the budget of the National Children's Hospital. Actually, 
hindi naman po talaga nag-increase ang budget ng National Children's Hospital. On the other hand, I would like to commend the Philippine Children's Medical Center for the service that they are giving the children. There is even an ongoing construction to expand the facilities. I salute the management of PCMC. They're on the right track. And so I would like to highlight the stark contrast between the two hospitals. The fact that PCMC is doing a good job, there's something wrong with the system of the National Children's Hospital. Actually, there's nothing wrong with the system of the National Children's Hospital. What is wrong is the way the government handles this hospital, the way that the kind of help this hospital is being treated, the way the kind of help that they must receive from the government. I think that's what the problem is. I would like to call on the DOH to strengthen the education of parents, particularly mothers, when it comes to parental and pregnancy health care. Bilang kulang po tayo sa resources upang maalagaan ng mga batang may sakit at top priority would be prevention. We should double the information campaign for mothers regarding their lifestyle and diet when pregnant to prevent ailments caused by poor health during pregnancy. Ang laking pera po matitipid ng mga Pilipino kung ang mga sakit ng mga kabataan ay mapipigilan. And I would like to echo the advocacy of our dear Senator Pia Caetano for breastfeeding. This is the number one defense of our children against sickness because it is the best source of immunization for the newborn. While we have programs already for breastfeeding education, we must make sure that illness are implemented in the barangay level para makarating talaga sa ating mga nanay, pati sa mga tatay na nag-aalalay sa ating mga breastfeeding mothers. That my esteemed colleague and seatmate, Senator Riz Ontiveros, brought this thing up. And we really do, do we do know na yung pong human trafficking is really rampant. And uh, unfortunately, uh, most of the victims are OFWs na gusto kong magtrabaho sa abroad para kumita ng pera. At pagdating po sa abroad, sila po'y napapagsamantalahan. And I encourage uh, my esteemed colleague, Senator Riz Ontiveros, Mr. President, to file a, a proper resolution so that it get refers to my uh, committee. And I'll be more than happy and willing to work with her any way we could to ensure na masort po itong problem na ito. And this is the reason why, if you remember, during the uh, uh, budget hearing involving the uh, Department of uh, Information and Communication Technology, na mabigyan po sana natin ng budget. Uh, kasi po, zero budget po when it comes to intelligence, uh, yung pong uh, DICT. Wala po silang uh, confidential uh, uh, funds na binigay po sa kanila. Unlike po sa other agencies, na kung tutusin, hindi naman talaga kailangan nila ng confidential funds, pero nabibigyan sila. Ito pa kay DICT, which is very important. Crucial po ito uh, sa, sa atin, especially if we're talking about uh, human trafficking. Na ito pong sa human trafficking, they're using po the uh, um, social media Kasi po, karamihan sa mga nabibiktima sa atin ay uh, through the social media. Kasi gumagamit po sila ng mga iba-ibang site, iba-ibang pangalan, cover, para hindi po sila talaga tunay na ma-identify. So, it, dito po papasok yung ating uh, DICT. So, kung well-funded po yung uh, DICT at meron po silang tinatawag na intelligence funds, then madali po masasakote ito pong uh, mga scammers na ito na nagbe-victimize po ng ating mga OFWs. So again, doon po sa NGOs na nakipagtulungan po sa tanggapan ni uh, Senator Rizzo Antiveros, I really commend them, I salute them, and if there's anything more we can do to help, uh, my, my, me being the committee chair sa uh, Department of Migrant, or committee chair sa uh, mga OFWs, the migrant workers, again, I'll be more than happy to help. And hindi lang mo po dapat ako this should be a collective effort for everybody to help para matugunan tong problema ito because it's been a long, long time this problem has been existing. And uh, in fact, nagyari pa ito many times in the past about yung pastillas. So hindi ko alam hanggang ngayon pala, nag-exist pa rin to. So it's about time na magising tayong lahat, magtulungan tayo para ma-address itong issue na ito.